Get ready and watch. Those are Joshua's instructions. See, the people had been following God for so long, for ages, but they're about, they're right on the edge of receiving everything that God has promised. They're right on the boundary of their hopes, their dreams, their desires, and more importantly, seeing God do the incredible. But there's an obstacle, there's a boundary in front of them, and that's the River Jordan. And what's interesting is while they will get instructions on how to get past that obstacle, what's even more important is the instructions they got to get ready and watch which has that sense of anticipation that God is actually going to move before us. And in fact, Joshua goes on and says, and be prepared to follow closely behind because you've never been this way before. It's so important in that new blessing and that receiving the promised land, that breakthrough, that it's not just a trusting God, but it's actually following close behind because he's taking us to a place we've never been before. And that's the application, the relevance for you and I. I see and hear from so many people that they desire a greater move of God. They desire to see God move in His power in the things they're involved in, their endeavors, and whatever they may be. But our natural inclination is to fall back to that habit of relying on ourselves. And so the challenge is get ready and watch in anticipation that God is actually going to move before us and then that we would follow closely behind so he could lead us into that place we have never been before. 